everyone welcome to this course in physics 2016 part 7 and apologize guys that i didn't upload video for a while well it's because uh it's it's the second half of the 2020 and i'm going to apply for college and especially with the scholarship application and thanks to lord that i have passed the sec the first evaluation of uh, the scholarship and i'm really hope that i pass the second evaluation and hopefully get the full scholarship and yeah for those of you who will apply for the scholarship uh we are like the scholarship hunter and may we have the success in scholarship that we apply in okay okay so for course in physics part seven there is a uniform magnetic field with a magnetic flux density with a value of b five times ten to the power of minus 3 tesla and is applied parallel to the z-axis as it is shown in the picture right so you can see that the magnetic field is parallel to the z-axis and you can see that there's a particle with a positive charge of q which is 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 coulomb and the mass and the particle has the mass m of 2.4 times 10 to the power of minus 30 kilogram that moves in the y direction and the speed of the particle itself is the uh, uh, 4 times 10 to the power of 5 meter per second now the particle enters the region where the magnetic field is applied the particle moves with a rotational motion on the xy plane in the region due to Lorentz force and if we got the answer we should round off the answer to two significant figures so basically about Lorentz force, there's actually the formula of the Lorentz force itself that is asked by number one. Uh, Lorentz force is actually B times Q times V sine theta. Okay, but in this condition for the theta itself, it doesn't say in the questions, right? But in this condition, if you have the, the direction of the particle is to the right, then the direction of the magnetic field is like perpendicular with the direction you should always know that, that when the particles is that way and b is that way you can see that they form a 90 degree angle between v and b so basically this theta is the angle between the direction of the velocity of the particle and the direction of the magnetic field okay so you just make theta is 90 which is essentially sine 90 is 1 Okay, so you just calculate B, Q, and V, with B is 5 times 10 to the power of minus 3 Tesla, times V, which is 4 times 10 to the power of 5, right? And then times Q, 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19, okay? Now, you should calculate and get the answer of the value of 3.2 times 10 to the power of minus 16 newton okay and now for number two calculate the radius r of the rotational motion of the particle now you can see that we use the f lorentz to calculate the first one it's only using bqv we just ignore the sine theta because you know it is perpendicular and the value is one so you can see that there's a rotational motion so basically the particle in the this direction goes into that direction and the magnetic field goes in perpendicularly it will actually goes circularly right but if the angle of the theta is less than 90 it will actually go spiral so spiraling right and so with the rotational motion we could actually use the principle of the centripetal force which is mv squared over r so we can actually make these two together bqv equals mv squared over r now we are to find the radius r so r is mv over bq right so we just calculate this so the value is 2.4 times 10 to the power of minus 30 then 4 times 10 to the power of 5 the b is 5 times 10 to the power of minus 3 tesla and the q is 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 coulomb and from there you can find the answer is 1.2 times 10 
the power of minus 3 meters. Okay, so that is the radius r. And now for the number 3 question is calculate the period t of the rotational motion of the particle. So now is when the particle is rotating, we have to find the period. Now to find the period, we could actually still use this principle. That is bqv equals mv squared over r. Right? You know that v is the angular velocity times r. Because angular velocity is like uh, related with the rotational motion. So we also know that the value of that the formula of angular velocity is 2 pi over t, the period which we are asked here. Okay, so bq, uh, we can cross this out. So bq equals mv over r, right? And you know that v over r is omega, which is the angular velocity. So bq is m omega, and omega we could substitute with that. So bq equals 2 pi and m over t. So the period is 2 pi m over bq. So they can say, they say that we can use pi uh, of 3.14, so this is 6.28, right? And the mass is 2.4 times 10 to the power of minus 30. And with the value of b, 5 times 10 to the power of minus 3. And q, 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19. So, basically that's how you use the period. You just use the principle of the centripetal force. And you count on that. The, base, the answer is 1.9 times 10 to the power of minus 8 seconds. So that is everyone for the part 7. So this is just, you know, the usage of the Lorentz force from BQV sine theta, and you should remember that theta is the angle between V and the B, right? And from there, if they ask about, if, if that happened, then the particle will undergo like a rotational motion, and we, you can use the principles of F Lorentz and the centripetal force. And now for the period, you just use this angular velocity formula. Okay, so that's it for part 7 of the Cosine Physics 2016. Stay tuned for other parts.